Welcome to the course Engineering Drawing. Today we are going to solve Type 2 problem. That means projection of solids inclined to VB prism. Right? So this is our problem. A hexagonal prism of base edge 30 mm and axis 70 mm has an edge of its base in the VB such that the axis is inclined at 30 degree to the VP and parallel to the HP. Draw its projections. This is the problem given. Here we needed to identify first the object hexagonal prism. Object is hexagonal prism. Base edge is 30 mm and axis is 70 mm long. Then second one is resting. Here it is resting on its base in the VP such that axis is inclined 30 degree to VP and parallel to VP. Based on this second condition, we need to identify it is the type 2 problem. It is a type 2 problem. Why it is called as type 2 problem? Because the axis is because the axis is inclined. Axis is 30 degree to vertical plane and it is a case 2 because resting on edge also and case number 2 case 2 is that means resting on edge right resting on edge now we come into the fifth answers for this particular question first we need to understand the ideas. So, it is 30 degree inclined to VP. So, we need to draw first the for type 2 problem first draw the front view. Then you draw the corresponding top view. Then you draw the final top view. Then complete final front view. So, this is the stage 1 and stage 2. Now, we are going to draw the solution for this particular problem. Before that, I will explain its demonstrations. Now you consider this is the hexagonal prism, right? So this is the bottom base of the hexagon, this is the top base of the hexagon. So what is given? Base edge, this side is 30 mm and the axis height is given as 70 mm. It is resting on one of its the base in uh, VP such that axis is included at 30 degree to VP. So this is the final position. This is the final position of the solid. We need to draw the corresponding front view and top view. For in order to draw this solution, first you can make or convert the axis is perpendicular to VB. Axis is perpendicular to VB by keeping one of the edge is now perpendicular to HB. Now corresponding front view is we consider as step number one. Then corresponding top view we need to draw that is your top view. Then we tilt for the second position or stage 2. Now tilted top view is drawn as the step number 3. Then final front view is drawn as the step number 4. This is for our understanding. Now I am going to proceed with the solutions. Proceed with the solutions. So first step. We need to draw here the XY reference line. You need to draw the XY reference line and right above the XY line VB this is HB. Now start with the first the front view of this particular solids. So the this is the front view. This is actually the front view of this uh, solid. Now we can take uh, we can keep the solid like this. Now we are going to keep that solid like this. So now we, I want to remove this space because it is already we noted. So we want to have the answers quickly, right? So we move to the step number one, right? So first you start with the corresponding front view. You keep in such a way that you need to draw its front view correctly. So quickly you can draw this hexagon 
from the side is given the side is given as 30 m so side is given as 30 mm you need to draw corresponding front view this is actually the front view of the axis i will draw in this color because outer lines we need to draw by hb pencil we need to draw by hb pencil right this is the way we need to draw is first front view so this is the step number 1 now i am going to mark the points so i will mark this point as a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and the m dash this is the back side point front side point i will mark it as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and the six test these are the friendly end these are the friendly end of the six turning point this is the reverse rear end of the pencil. now i am going to mark this center how to mark this center you need to draw this diagonal line automatically the meeting points we will get this as four point here we will get this point four this is the meeting point of this x so this is the point we call this O, right? Now we are going to move to the step number two. We can draw the vertical projector line from this pod as center point and draw the axis line. Draw the axis line. This is the axis line, right? Now we can take the height as 70 millimeter. Now I am going to draw the corresponding projection from all the other edges. All other edges. I want to draw this view right i want to talk this front view this is my front view sorry this is my top view this is my top view of this hexagon top view of this hexagon i am going to mark similarly i will talk this this is my front view already i talked here right so i am going to mark the points so this is the point 1 and 2 1 2 is visible right only some back side so both are visible here right while we right 2 1 3 6 4 5 here a b C, D, E, F. The height is, I consider as 70 mm. I completed the step number 2. Now we are going to tilt this X front view in such a way that the, here also we can have because this edge, this edge, 6 test, F test, that uh, long edge also, right? That 6 test, 3 test edge will also seen as the visible line. So you need to talk like this. On over the axis line, we need to draw. Right? I complete. Now, you take this particular point E and on this point E, D, D point, you can take and we are going to tilt because the angle is 30 degree to vertical plane. So, we know the base angle is 60 degree you can take. So, 90 minus 30 so you get this is the base angle inclination you can keep here this is the point i get this is e1 d1 from which you are you measure this distance and you need to draw for 60 degree inclination 60 degree inclination you need to draw and you can mark this center point correspondingly you need to draw this is the axis line now you complete this step by taking the same measure one from this tilted front view sorry tilted top view you need to complete your second you need to complete your second top view for the given 30 degree incline to pv 
this angle is 30 degree. This line also you need to draw as the darker one. Now I am going to mark the points as again. This is A1, B1, this is C1, F1, and this is E1, D1 already marked. These points I will mark it as 1, 1, 2, 1. This point I will mark it as 3, 1, 6, 1. And this point is 4, 1, 5, 1. So we completed step number 3. Final topic. Now we move into the final step. <coughs> for which we need to draw the horizontal and vertical line. First draw the vertical line from these points. That is the rear end of this hexagon we need to draw first. Rear end of the hexagon from which you need to draw the vertical lines. Then we go with the front end of this hexagon. Now we come here. This is the front end actually. This front end of the hexagon you need to draw this vertical line. Already we marked the rear end. So this is the front end of your Hexagon. So you know, then you need to draw the horizontal line from the your this front view. You need to draw the horizontal lines. Now the meeting points is to be marked. Similarly, horizontal line from second tone also we need to draw. Right? Then you need to draw the horizontal lines from another eight corner points in the front view. Then final point you need to draw the horizontal line. Now I am going to mark this points. I am going to mark the meeting points. So, first I consider the front edge. So, I will mark this is the point 1, 1 dash this is the point 2, 1 dash 3, 1 dash this point is 4, 1 dash this point is 5, 1 dash this is the point 6, 1 dash Similarly, you come to this bottom edge. I have A, 1 dash this point is B1 dash, this is C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash and F1 dash. Now I consider the uh, front end we need to join as a thicker line, right? First, all this, this is the so, hexagon, that is the irregular hexagon we need to draw corresponding to this front end. Rear end, outer edge only visible, so we need to draw dark line. That resting edge, E1 dash, D1 dash, is dark line. So the edges, side edges connecting these also will come as dark line. And also the longer edges connecting E1 dash and S1 dash, is uh, 5 1 dash, is also we need to draw dark line. And also the edges connecting longer edge, D1 dash and this 4 1 dash also you turn as daughter line. Now connect F1 dash and 6 1 dash as the thick line. Similarly, A1 sorry, C1 dash and 3 1 dash as the thick line, the, the out, visible outlines. And B1 dash and 2 1 dash we need to draw the dark line. And A1 dash and 1 1 dash. So here these lines only we turn as the daughter line. So that's we completed the step number four so this is end of our uh, solution so quickly i refer first position step number one you need to keep like this object and draw the corresponding front view and corresponding top view what we see here it is to be drawn here and now we are going to tilt in such a way that it makes 30 degree to vp like that way you need to draw then corresponding uh, front view is projected. Finally, we need to join all the visible points. Invisible points we draw as starter line. This is for uh, thanks for watching this video.